Hey, it's Brickzar. I'm going to look at another Lego Star Wars set. This is one of those that's not really from the movie, I don't think. It's an Embarum MHC, Mobile Heavy Cannon, set 75013. And it's one of those that I wasn't too crazy about getting, but I got a cheap price. It was 50% off. They cleared them out a lot at Target. But it's actually a pretty cool model. Um, even from the even even if you didn't like Star Wars, it's just a neat little uh, insect-like um, cannon carrier device here. And then I like a couple of the minifigures you get. So um, I just got a, a working firing cannon here. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, we'll look at the minifigures, and uh, I guess I'll tell you. If I think anything else about this. Alright, you get two of these Umbaran. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Umbaran soldiers. They um, have the weird lavender head. Which almost looks like, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know what's purple. So they're identical twins here. These Umbaran soldiers. Oops. I'll put his helmet back on so he doesn't die. And this, oops, this dude is called a 212 Clone Trooper. I guess that's the, uh, the, the crew he's in, the infantry, whatever they call it. I don't know military terms, but he's got a typical clone head. No back printing on that. He's yellow. He's got the yellow accents on his uniform. All right, here's a Jedi. I know that. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a Jedi. Got lightsabers. She... Uh, was not in the movies, but she was deleted in a deleted scene of Episode 3. She got killed right at the beginning of Episode 3, which kind of tied in with what I remember. Now, I've only watched it one time, but the original Clone Wars cartoon, uh, at the end, when General Grievous was hunting down the Jedi, it was her and that cantana, cantina dude that could blow everybody over. And there were only a handful of people left, and she was one of the ones that survived. Her name was Asuka Tano, something like that. But it's a cool-looking Jedi. I would like to have seen her more in the movies. Now, I don't know. I say it, she wasn't in the movie. I can't remember if she was in the um, arena battle scene or not. But um, Or maybe she was one... I don't know. Yeah, she got... I'm pretty sure she's the one that got killed in the deleted scene. All right, now we'll look at the Umbarans Mobile Heavy Cannon. It's got a neat little pattern here for the controls there. And you can put one of the Umbarans in there. I guess you got to take his... Uh-oh, about to decapitate him almost there. He sits in there. Get in there. Ugh. Man, he barely fits. It's supposed to go in there. There we go. So we got them in there to drive this thing. And there's guns on the underside here. And this piece here is actually for the controlling the uh, cannon. And it's got the little spider, or not spider, because there's only six legs, little insect legs that you can move around. They can't go down there because that's fixed, but this part can go flat. That's about it. And he's got stickers all over it. And so basically, let me turn this thing around. There's a little control back here that you can use to point the cannon and then fire it, which is just basically one of these bionicle-type rubber things here. Um, I like these better than flick-fire missiles because they're easier to find. I'm always losing the flick-fire missiles. Um, that's what the underside looks like. And I'll show you the back side. you got a little compartment back. Oh, the other guy can sit back there. I guess I can put him back there after all. He, I guess he's the guy working the cannon. The other guy's driving. So we'll put their guns in there with him. So I'm not crazy about the Embarn minifigures. Uh, I do like the the, the um, clone dude you get. And then this Jedi girl. That's pretty cool. And I like the look of this device here it could be you could modify it it wouldn't have to be a weapon it could be 
just a little exploration device I guess if you wanted it but um, neat looking um, set they did have the mini model build which I have reviewed but I don't know where I put it I would like to compare them but I got so many sets I don't know where they are <laughs> so what do you think about this set did you like it I tend to like more of sets that relate to the six movies but I like this the two of the figures you get and I think it's a neat looking set so tell me what you think the Embarin Mobile Heavy Cannon set. It is set 75013, 493 pieces. A good value at $25, which is what I paid for it. And not so good at $50, which is the retail price. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And check my Star Wars playlist. We've done over 50 Star Wars reviews now. I'm going to do more. Thanks for watching. Yeah.